I think it's inevitable that technology is going to play more of a role in the way that experience is mediated in the museum world. There's no one approach for an art and technology project. Sometimes our projects happen worldwide or online or in space. The Art and Technology Lab is a program that provides support to artist projects that engage emerging technology. The program is very exploration driven and artist comes into our program with basically an idea. We like to joke that we like half-baked proposals. We like to have room within a project proposal for our technology advisors, for our uh, curators and educators at LACMA to really get into the weeds with the artist and help them develop the project. The art and technology project that I came into at LACMA, what really inspired me was to work with the site, the La Brea Tar Pits. The tar itself, a residue of all organic life, to me was the most interesting part of the project. In other words, LACMA happened to be sitting on a site that should be revered and respected. My interest was to find ways to illuminate tar and show what its substance is and perhaps interest the public to look more into it. I've used technology since it's a material of our time and place. We've done really exciting things like launch a sculpture into low Earth orbit. We've worked with John Craig Freeman, who's worked a lot with augmented reality, and Kirsten Mosier, who has a long history of using artistic inquiry as a way of looking at landscape. I had proposed to try to find out what the exact shape of a wave is on the other side of the world from a given point. It's hard to measure because it's always moving. It's also hard to measure because if you're looking at the opposite side of the Earth from LACMA, you're looking at about 1,080 miles off the coast of Madagascar in the Indian Ocean. I wanted to figure it out through some sort of technological means. What's that shape? And then I hope to make it a sculpture, sort of using the whole world as a place to work from. So the inspiration has to do with looking at the Earth as an architecture with these opposing spots and wanting to put them together. We were able to obtain high resolution satellite imagery and we were able to create a simulation of this antipode and create what this little bit of the Indian Ocean looked like on a given day. The convergence of our technology for me has been thinking about problems or challenges that I never thought about before. In this case, in terms of creating a new type of art, Hyundai Motor Company is a sponsor of LACMA and the Art and Technology Program, and I'm the representative for Hyundai Motor Company. And our mission is to help accelerate transformation of Hyundai through innovation. I've always believed that when you combine different disciplines and perspectives, what you can create is something new and different. So not having any real background on art, the opportunity to spend time and meet with artists was for me something that I thought would be, for me personally, very, very interesting. You know, when I said that technology is a bone and art is a flesh, I think that enables a piece of art is often a form or a type of technology. I think technology, rather than provide us with more answers, has given us the chance to ask more questions just because of the sheer capabilities. And so with these tools, artists are able to scale up their inquiry. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology.